everybody, it's the bald man once again, and today we're going to be talking about the aggregate demand, aggregate supply graph in the long run, going to the short run, and back to the long run. All right, so let's begin. Uh, so suppose the government increases spending, right? So we have this increase in government spending. That means aggregate demand will shift to the right. Now, this is going to create an inflationary gap. Prices are high. Unemployment is too low. Uh, but, you know, th those are their own economic problems, right? But the government decides they're not going to get involved in this situation. There's not going to be any fiscal or monetary policy action. So, how does the economy fix itself? Well, rather easily, right? Because, as you can tell, prices are high. People are going to demand raises. And as people get raises, that means resource prices are going up. If resource prices go up, that means aggregate supply is going to decrease. And we go back to the long run right here at a new higher price level. Now remember, this is in case there is no fiscal or monetary policy action taking place. How does the economy fix itself? This is how. Now... What if we have another situ a similar situation, but in a different situation happen, right? Now, in this case, the government decides to decrease spending. What, what does that mean, right? So if we start back at equilibrium, if the government decides to decrease spending, that means aggregate demand will decrease. And we will be here at a new price level again. And again, the government decides to take no policy action, no fiscal policy, no monetary policy action. How is the economy going to fix itself? Ah, before we get there, <coughs> we need to remember that these graphs are perfectly flexible. <coughs> these graphs are perfectly flexible. And um, some of this stuff may not apply in the real world. So what do I mean by that? Well, here... Since prices are low, people are going to be taking pay cuts. But do we really take pay cuts? No, right? Wages only go one way, and that direction is upward, right? We call that the ratchet effect. Wages do not come down, they go up. And, of course, we have sticky wages, same thing. Uh, it needs to be called sticky wages or the ratchet effect. Uh, wages do not come down. They will only go in one direction, and that way is up. But right, if the prompt doesn't say anything about sticky wages, anything about the ratchet effect, then we're going to assume everything is still perfectly flexible. Again, we know it's not perfectly flexible in real life, but in these situations they are. So if we have a new lower price level, and the no monetary or po fiscal policy action is going to be taking place, and there is no mention of the ratchet effect or sticky wages, how does the economy fix itself in this situation? Rather easily. What they will be doing is they will actually increase aggregate supply because wages and resource prices have decreased, and that means people will hire more, they will buy more resources, and we will be here, we will go back to the long run at a new lower price level. If you guys have any questions about the, the sticky wages, about the ratchet effect, about uh, these self-corrections, please drop a comment down below or send me a message on Remind. Thank you.